What's up, Shredders? My name is Logan, aka Spiderhands, and welcome to an SP Patrons video today that I make for Cindy Shin as part of their custom monthly music review. And if we switch over to here, we have ourselves a track on YouTube. This is from an act named Eggplant Egg, who I have listened to before, and I have actually enjoyed my time with their music so far. This track is titled Walk With Me If You're One of the Lonely Ones. So we're going to listen through this track from start to finish, and we're going to hear what we think. Let's go. Soulful guitar. So peaceful sounding, isn't it, with the vocals? And these lurks are fantastic, aren't they? They really are. They're very heavy sounding, but I love... Not, not really sure of what's going on in the video, but... Wasn't this so incredible how those drums came in? Very smooth transition there. The lower range to the vocals makes it seem very sort of grounded. And just how the Tom Phillips come in there with the lead there. I'm getting a little bit carried away with the video, but at the same time, I think it's incredible. It's an incredible video for sure. Um, yeah, just uh, the music is quite subtle in comparison to it. Lovely guitar layering, though. Very left there, The finesse on the kit with those those fills there, the toms. Coupled with the gritty tone of the guitar there, distortion there. With the relatively more sort of uplift, upper range their vocals, it's an interesting contrast to what I did earlier. I think it's a great sense of progression. <laughs>
that phrasing on that lead solo there was just absolutely divine. The guitar has been relatively subtle until this point. So just a little note in post. I'm, I'm editing this at the moment. This is not correct. Now, for whatever reason, I missed this in the final conclusion section. So I'm just going to say it now. This is not a simplistic track from the guitar style. I don't know why I didn't mention this in post. But just consider this like my guitar part. Well, half of my guitar part, at least for the first half of the track in this review. This is not a simple guitar song. The way they have layered different guitar tracks going between one another with like the little slides and bends and little misty kind of wistful kind of parts. I'd be remiss to not mention this. I'm so glad that I'm editing this in. Uh, welcome to Da Vinci, by the way. I love this so much more than Adobe Premiere. But anyways, I'm going to get back to the review for a second, just letting you know I love the way the guitars are played. And I'm sorry that I didn't get that in the initial cut being a really sort of valid replacement for the vocals in this part with the catchiness of that hook line is still incredibly well done and it shows the uh, the the technique and the talent of the strings person as well. Damn. It hits you like a train, doesn't it? It uh, you you realize near the end, I think that um, they they were just kind of they were dreaming of that reality, but they never quite got to it. Oh, they found help. you don't think that her friends are going to find her and you think that she's all alone and that they're left without her but no they went to come to her in the end i think that's wonderful i think that's a really good story that's told as a multimedia sort of audio visual experience there we're going to talk about more about what i think it's about in the conclusion but i think i've got a really good sort of idea of it without necessarily Hearing the lyrics, primarily because I figured that with a story this well told, like you could definitely tell him, like I can just assume even without knowing the language what it could potentially, like it's a dynamic range of it, it's the tension there later on, the increase in urgency, but yeah, conclusion time. Because welcome to the conclusion, my review of this track from an act named Eggplant Egg titled Walk With Me if you're one of the lonely ones. Now, I think that this track is about someone who is doing something that they don't want to do. They feel isolated. They just wish they could get out of there somehow, drive towards the, you know, to the sunset with the, with the suns and everything like that. They would love to get away from this reality that they're thoroughly dissatisfied with that hurts them and makes them feel miserable. And they would instead prefer to be somewhere you know, even if it's just a fantasy where things could be better. I think that not only is this told very well through the, um, the, the, or the visual experience with the video, it's also just really compelling storytelling by itself. The last line, if I'm not mistaken, is something along, along the lines of also you're one of those. It indicates potentially that they were not one of the ones who was able to walk or run alongside them, that they potentially got left behind, which is very kind of visceral when you think about it. Or maybe it's someone that just needed a bit more of a push to get to get away from that situation there. But I still think, nonetheless, that kind of ending sentence there kind of kind of hits you like a train because you're like, oh, there's a possibility that even if we're discussing all these really sort of wonderful possibilities, that ultimately we're still just that person having to deal with that situation we're in, and it's not as easy as just kind of running away and just engaging in that fantasy. I think the vocals that go alongside that were relatively low key at first in the lower part of a vocal range there. We showed solo technique going into the upper register later on when the choruses. We never really went too high. It was never a track where I think we were trying to extend beyond, provide more energy with it than we needed to. It was a very kind of like somber, uh, not melancholic, but it was, it was designed to sort of kind of Get you back to the floor if you were flying too high it's like it encouraged you to consider an alternative to run if you're one of the lonely ones but also reminds you that you are the lonely one i think the melodies that we chose both in the verse and in the chorus sections were compelling it was nice again to have extra vocals like backing ones and that the chorus as well for a bit more oomph especially with the added intensity of the guitar parts alongside the bass and drums and I also appreciate that we weren't singing the entire time. We had different instrumental lead sections, parts, especially that solo close to the end of the track. We said as much as we needed to, and then we were out. I have to admire that. 
I think the way that we performed emotively was very appropriate for what was going on with the story that we were telling, so there was a nice connection there as well. Track at five minutes. I know that not all of it, what, it was a five minute video, but the track is about four, four and a half minutes. And, and basically we have the guitar at the start with the vocals, the bass and drums come in eventually. And that's, that's, our, that's our aesthetic there. That's, we begin in a, a low point and we eventually try to sort of rise up as we go through the track and add bits. And we go from like maybe one or two sort of string parts there to the bass and drums coming through rather effortlessly and very kind of sneakily, subtly to kind of uptake with the added bit of distortion in the choruses. And, and later on with the wonderful tone on that lead guitar really kind of uh, as being ascended, it's an ascension. It's, it's ascendant or rather transcendent. I really appreciate the fact that we had the guitar be the, the lead solo be one of the bigger parts of the track. It wasn't just that the chorus was um, engaging and really interesting to listen to, but it was also that we let another lead part take that over as well. The drums were phenomenal when they did come in. I enjoyed the eighth note grooves that we had there, as well as some of the 16th note fills and a bit of intricacy in the later stages with the sticks there moving between our cymbal and fill patterns on the toms. The bass was nice and like sort of, um, it was very supportive on the low end, as I say a lot of the time, but it also had a bit of kind of kick to it. Not too much, but enough to kind of let you know that it was there without being too much. I appreciate the quality control there and the uh, kind of the, the, the balancing of it and the needs of the, the performance. But it was the, like, the combination of the broken chords leading to the power chords later on and into the uh, incredibly skillful lead later on that made the guitars one of my favorite instruments within this track. It was really elegant. It was passionate and almost virtuosic and I really appreciate that we, you know, play, we added a sense of kind of finesse and complexity to the harmonies and melodies within the arrangement without also overplaying or overcomplicating it. I think we knew the point where it would have been too much and we stayed away from that. We just kind of came back a little bit from that, which I think is really impressive. There's, it's a very difficult thing to know that nuance and we had that here. Ultimately, with those main instruments out of the way and an understanding of the structure of the track, I think the theme itself it was one where we sounded like it was kind of this was the end game there where this was your final opportunity to be able to get away my my interpretation of why things were so quiet at the end after that solo was that the guitar kind of uh, flew into the sky like our hopes and dreams and then kind of came down we realized we might not necessarily be able to get away i think that's honestly the reality in certain situations that it's not as easy as just saying oh things will just magically work right but i appreciate that authenticity and integrity with our direction there creatively in regards to the lyrics as well we didn't need to give the listener a happy ending i listened to this track and i don't think there's anything incredibly positive about it it's it's there's power behind it but it's and it's not overly kind of like sad or depressing or anything like that it's just kind of a little bit kind of um it's almost a little bit kind of it's it's quite grounded it's quite a mature sort of like adult sort of impression of what the situation that the people involved are in and it recognizes that the listener might be lonely and it doesn't try to saturate them with positivity it instead encourages to kind of get into the blanket with them and, and uh, try to sort of like connect with them and then at the end realizes that it might just might not work there's a combination of the minor chords used in it the um relative sort of minor focus of the solo sections there the subtlety of any of the sort of accents and anything like that we had here with mostly a pianosimo or like a mezzo forte overall and just yeah, basically inevitably that's that's the situation we had i don't i think it was a phenomenal performance with great chemistry with the band though and i don't think there was a note out of place and um, finally we just have the studio recording mixing and mastering which was stellar it was wonderful we had phenomenal dynamic range things were not the same loudness the whole time again as i the, the solo going right down to that section when the guy says you know i, I guess you know, the last line that he spoke i can't remember exactly what it was but just how things just kind of like flattened out there and you were just left with a dead room and i kind of appreciate that i think that it was wonderful that um we we had that that we had that sort of dynamic sort of development throughout there things got louder over time with more instrumental patterns there we didn't sort of uh over complicate things in the production either it was a relatively raw performance there with a great tone to the guitar bass and drums as well as the different vocals basically the mains and the sides the leveling in general was great things were nicely balanced in the frequency spectrum no resonant frequencies and the music surrounded you in the headphones which is great as well and uh, it was nice and low without pumping so the bus compression and limiting was handled and uh, ultimately they could just sing so there was no 
messing around with the vocals. They just, it was just really organic sort of appearance there and I'm really impressed with their efforts here. I think it's a really fantastic song. But um, yeah, this is my review of this track from the band named Eggplant Egg titled Walk With Me if you're one of the lonely ones and hopefully you enjoy it. If you did, please go show us some love via their various social medias and a YouTube page and stay cool, stay safe. Please remember to support your local musicians and artists at this point in time. It's need to help more than ever with all the crazy stuff going on in the world and I will catch you in the next SP Patrons video. Spider hands out.